Hey out there and welcome, I'm Kate. There was a request for a neck specific stretchy class. So here it is, it's gonna be quick, just a few exercises that you can do to release some tension in your neck. And if you need a break during your day, even if you're at your desk, these are some things that you can do just to give yourself some relief. We are gonna use a strap. So if you've got one, grab one. Anything that resembles a strap is also perfectly fine. <laughs> Find a quiet spot, or you can sit at your kitchen table, and I will see you in a few. Okay, so we're just gonna get started seated. Um, like I said, you can be at your desk, in a chair, anywhere that works for you. Just gonna find a tall spine. Feel your shoulders soften as much as they can, these muscles, <laughs> the tops of your shoulders. Try to give them a moment to relax, and feel the sides of your neck lengthen up as you stretch the crown of your head up toward the sky. It's almost as if you had a string right through the length of your spine and you could just pull it gently through the crown of your head and give yourself a little bit more space. And we're going to stay here for a couple of breaths, just actively reaching, actively making some room, the sides, the front and the back of your neck. You can close your eyes. Shift some of your focus to your breath, as well as the length in your neck. And while you're seated here, start to feel the tips of your shoulder blades draw in toward each other, gently on your back. So that's gonna make some more room through your collarbones, the front of your chest. Take another breath in here. And when you exhale, you're gonna slowly lower your chin to your chest. And give your head a gentle shake side to side. That's it. Then you're gonna spin your chin over toward your left shoulder. And then like you were gonna draw a rainbow up and over to the other shoulder, you're gonna to start to take your gaze up, bring it all the way through the middle and bring it down over toward your right shoulder. And I'm gonna go back to the left side, just reaching up and across. And again, up and over to the right side. And up and over to the left. And last time, I'm gonna bring it up and over to the right. And then start to take your chin down and you're gonna slide it back. So it's right above your chest. And again, give your head a little shake. And from here, you're gonna lift your head and take your gaze over your right shoulder, come back through the middle and just bring it over to the left. Okay, and then back through center. So now you're gonna take your fingertips and you're gonna bring them to this, um, to your clavicles, right? To your, yeah, <laughs> these bones right here. <laughs> it's totally escaping me what they're called. And it's only because you're here with me. That's fine. You're gonna take your fingers and just start to hook on <laughs> to your collarbones. That's exactly what they're called. <laughs> oh my gosh. And just let the weight of your hands start to pull down just kind of like anchoring through your collarbones, right? And you're gonna take your head and just drop it over to the right. And then start to kind of track your gaze up and over. Like you can lift your chin and you're gonna peel your chin away from that left side. And then bring your head back up to neutral and let your ear, that left ear drop over your left shoulder. And then same thing, you're gonna take your chin, kind of sweep it up a little bit. And bring your head back through center. Now you're gonna take your hands and you can interlace your fingers or stack your hands, whatever feels more natural. And you're gonna rest your hands on your breastbone here. <laughs> and let the weight of your hands start to kind of pull down a little bit. Again, anchoring here. But also we're gonna use it to help stretch the front of your neck. So this is where it might get a little awkward if you're at the office. Just saying. You're gonna take your gaze and slide it up. And the weight of your hands can pull gently down. And then you're gonna take this <laughs> bottom jaw and start to stretch that up toward the ceiling. 
and breathe. And then you can bring your jaw back in, bring your head back through center. <laughs> and one more time with your hands still on your chest here, you're gonna drop your chin to your chest. And breathe. That's it. And slowly lift your head. And you take your arms out to the side so your palms face up. And just reach, extending through your fingertips. Try not to get tense through the upper shoulders. That's easier said than done a lot of the times. They're just already hyperactive, right? Try to soften as much as you can as you extend fingertip to fingertip. You're going to keep this right arm extended. Take the left hand to the side of your head. And you're just going to pull over nice and easy to the left, extending through the center of your right palm, reach through your fingertips. Yes. And now you're going to take that hand and flip it so your thumb points down toward the floor. And then bend that elbow and you're going to take the back of your right hand to your lower back. Spread your fingers and breathe here. Every breath makes a little more space into that right side. And now you're gonna slide your right hand down, palm facing the floor or the chair. You're gonna sit, fingertips pointing in toward you. You're gonna sit on your hand. And then press gently down through the heel of your hand. And notice if that left shoulder started to hike up toward your left ear, try to relax it down. Take another breath. And then you're gonna slide your left hand to the left side of your head and slowly press it up. Ah, it's very nice to give yourself an assist every now and again. And then you can take your right hand out and shake it out because you were just sitting on it and maybe that was uncomfortable. And we're gonna do the same thing the other side. Take your fingertips, reach them out, tops of the shoulders soft, feel that extension for the centers of your palms. And now your right hand is gonna go to the left side of your head. Same thing, give yourself that oh, <laughs> that oh extra little bit of juice to your stretch and now you're going to take this palm face it forward and then flip all the way around thumb faces the floor you're going to bend that left elbow take the back of your hand to your low back feel your finger spread top of that left shoulder can soften away from your earlobe and breathe Yes, and then you're gonna take this left hand and sneak it down right underneath you. Fingertips pointing in, palm facing the mat or the chair. As you lengthen down through the heel of that left hand, feel your right shoulder soften and the <laughs> breath move into the left side. And if your eyeballs have popped out of your head, I have to keep my eyes closed here so they don't pop out. But if yours have popped out of your head, just place them gently back in. And you're gonna slide your right hand down to the right side of your cheek and then press yourself back up. Oh, so much nicer that way. All right, and then we're gonna release that and shake it out. So here's where the strap comes in. So if you're at your desk, this could be um, where you take a pause and just do a couple other things. If you've got something nearby, then you're gonna grab it. And we're just gonna take the strap into your hands Give yourself a ton of room here. I got a ton of room and I might even want some more because I'm a little bit tight, right? So we're just gonna take the arms and stretch them up. Here we go. And now you're gonna pull gently with the left hand and draw the right arm in toward your ear. And maybe it can slide back toward the back of your ear, that's cool. You want both arms straight and both arms actively kind of pulling away from each other. And here we go. You're gonna take your gaze over to the right and then slide it over to the left and then back through center, this left hand is just gonna gently sweep back behind you. So it's coming straight back behind you. And now you're gonna spin your chin toward your <laughs> right side armpit and curl your chin in toward your chest and breathe there. And then slowly lift your head up, bring yourself back through center. Gonna bring this left hand back, 
come up through the middle, and then same thing, arms stay straight, keep pulling on the strap with both hands, draw this left arm in toward your ear as you pull down through the right. And take a breath here, you can take your gaze over to the left, you can bring it over to the right. Then you're gonna take this hand and just sweep it back behind you. And then take your chin, draw it in toward that left side armpit, and you can curl in a little bit as you breathe here. And then lift your head, bring it back through center. Sweep your right hand back through. Come on up, and we're gonna come on back down. So we've got one last stretch. You're gonna take this strap or this whatever belt, and we're gonna make a loop with it. So however you can, make yourself a loop. And it's gonna be, I don't know, a medium-sized loop. You can adjust it along the way. Okay, here we go. So now you're gonna take this loopy thing and you're gonna hook it underneath you and take a seat. I mean, we're already taking a seat. <laughs> you're gonna sit on this strap. And I need to make mine a little bit bigger. I totally overestimated the size of, or underestimated the size of myself, right? So now I'm gonna sit on this guy and then hook this oh, over my tricep. And now once I get here, or my tricep, <laughs> my shoulder, this has been an anatomy lesson by Kate Vantucci, a completely not helpful one. All right, so you're gonna let this fall on your upper trap, right? So it kind of starts to anchor it down a little bit. And then slowly, oh, take your right ear over your right shoulder. You can bring your hand back to the side of your head one more time. And breathe if you want to make it a little bit more you can tighten it just a touch intensify the stretch it's also a little bit of a massage on the top of that shoulder oh and then inhale slowly come on back up you can help your head to center if you want and then we're gonna switch take that puppy underneath your right side there we go and then cross it up and over. There we go, okay? Adjust it how it feels, it needs to be adjusted here. Okay, here we go. Slowly now, you're gonna drop your left ear all over your left shoulder. And you can take your hand to the side of your head. Give yourself a little more. It might feel good to kind of Push gently up into the strap as you pull over. Yes, and then your hand's gonna to come to the side of your head. Press yourself back up. And from here, you're gonna take this strap off. Take a moment one more time to curl your chin in toward your chest. And then slowly lift your head up. Take your gaze up. And then curl your chin into your chest. And as you do, start to round in a little bit. <sighs> Inhale, can start to draw your shoulder blades back, lift your chest as you gaze up. And then exhale, really round yourself in. Upper back rounds, kind of caving in. And last time, inhale, I'm gonna sit as tall as you can, draw your shoulder blades down your back, take your gaze up. And then slowly as you exhale, come back through the middle. You're gonna take your left hand across to your right leg, right hand behind. You can grab a chair if it's there. Hold on to the back of the chair. Inhale through the middle and just nice and easy over to the other side, giving yourself a little bit of a twist. And then back through center. Take a moment here, roll out your shoulders. And then another direction. Ah, all right, that's it. <laughs> Feel free to drop a comment below if there's anything else you wanna see, any questions you might have, let me know how this goes for you. And if you actually get to do it at work, let me know how it makes you feel during your work day. And you can also comment on the anatomy lessons that I gave today, which were clear, succinct, and correct, obviously. <laughs> Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. It's always a joy and a pleasure. 
I look forward to practicing with you again soon. Remember to subscribe and check out some other videos. Namaste.